Hi, my loves. How are you? <clears throat> I'm doing good. Beautiful, beautiful sunny day today. And I want to show you something kind of unusual. Um, it is called Smoke and Roses, a floral oracle deck. And I got this and I was kind of disappointed at first. Um, and I said, well, what the heck is this crap? So, um, but the more I looked at it, the more I really liked it. So, it came like this. Beautiful packaged little deck. Okay. And it has this little scroll in here. And I'm thinking, what'd they do? Put a little thing in there saying, thank you for your order and whatever. So, I opened it up. And it was a lot tighter than this, but I put it back on to show you guys. And I opened it up, and this is what it says. It says, a playing Victorian parlor game. Language of flowers. To play the Victorian parlor game, each player picks seven cards from the deck. Studying their cards, the player chooses one and places it face down in the center of the table. They proceed to tell a story to their companions, giving a sense of what the flower means. For example, a rake attempted to lift my skirt, and when I rebuffed him, stole a kiss at the ball. The next time I saw him, I presented this flower and turned my back on him. I hope I shall never see him again. The group attempts to guess which flower it is. The person who guesses it right keeps the card face up besides, beside them. The first player to gain seven points is declared the winner. I thought that was adorable. And it's printed on this little cardboardy type thing. I think that's adorable. So I read that and I was like, wow, it, it was intriguing me more and more. Okay. So then I pull the cards out and I love this little bag. See through, you can see what cards they are. And I thought, oh, okay. And I looked at the backs of the cards. Okay. And there's the backs. And I'm thinking, wow, they're gorgeous. You know, what pretty Victorian backing. Right? It's a small little deck. I mean, it's not huge by any means. It's came with no book, anything like that. No name, no nothing. And I'm thinking, okay. And I look at these cards. And I'm thinking they're adorable. <laughs> with the flowers and the little guy and the balloon and the, and I was like, oh my gosh, I just love this. So it says fun and it says, this must be the name of the flower, Naster, Nastrium. So that must be the Nastrium. So this must be the flower. And then it says, the next one is Gratitude and Bluebell. So, and I know that's a Bluebell. But I absolutely love this. I think this is the cutest deck. And I don't know. Thought and Pansy. Deceit is foxglove. So, I mean, this could be used for that game or it could be used as an oracle. Uh, so, I really, really like this. Uh, passion and tulip. Look at that. The high heel and the beautiful tulip. And the artwork is gorgeous. I am very excited about this little deck. Uh, smoke and roses. A steampunk language of flowers. F 
foolishness is geranium. Innocence is baby's breath. The colors are very pretty and I love the black border around it. I love it. And I think I'm gonna etch them in black, of course. But these are so pretty. Uh, hatred is orange lily. My favorites are lilies. Beauty is cherry blossom. Eloquence is iris. And I've never seen this step, guys. So, temptation is quince. And my flowering quince outside, I'll have to take a picture of it and show. It is in full bloom and it is amazing color this year. And it is full. Uh, doubt is lavender. Love lavender. But this is such a me deck. Because I love Victorian stuff. Oops. Confusion is love in a mist. Love the Victorianness of this. And I love, I love flowers. So. But it's such a pretty little deck. It doesn't smell. I would be like, because I just saw this card, love, ro love is roses. And I was like, hmm, wouldn't that be nice if it smelled like roses? We'll just have to spray, put a little essential oils on that bag. Uh, danger is oleander. Ooh, I got a gun. Friendship is freshia, fresh, what is it? Freshia. Freshia. These are such, so pretty. I love these colors too, guys. Uh, nobility is magnolia. Fascination is a fern. Indifference is candy tough. Pretty. Jealousy is daylily. Uh, hope is snowdrop. These are very well done. I wish I would know who the author and stuff is. I have no clue. I'll have to look it up online and see. <clears throat> the answer, um, um, I'm sorry. White carnation is, the answer is yes. Memory is rosemary. Strife is tease, tessel, tessel. Thistle, Tiesel. Never heard of Tiesel. I like this. Justice is the black eyed Susan. <laughs> That's cute.
Courage is uh, the Snapdragon, another one of my favorite flowers. Temperance is the azalea. I have a lot of azaleas. I like, I love azaleas too. I love the spring flowers that come out. Pride is amaryllis. Ambition, very Victorian flower, is the hollyhock. And when I moved here, I had hollyhocks out there growing. And I've planted them since. And they just weren't as beautiful as the other hollyhocks. <clears throat> the only thing about hollyhocks is, that I don't like is the beetles always get to their leaves. The flowers themselves are gorgeous. But those dang beetles always kill my leaves. Industry is clover. This would be a very fun game, I think, to play. Change is a pimpernickel. Not pumpernickel, pimpernickel. Forgetting is lotus. This would be cute with the uh, steampunk deck. Oh yeah. Or maybe even the antique anatomy. I think these would go real cute with those decks. Fortune is apple. The answer is no, is the striped carnation. I have a lot of these flowers out in my gar garden. Uh, endurance is chamomile. I have chamomile. Fidelity is a uh, aster, aster outside. Compassion is the peony. I have tons of peonies. I like the peonies. Until the rain hits them and then they all go woof. And it seems to always rain when they're in bloom. Caution is begonia. That's another flower I love, but I kill it. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I do to it. Every year I buy a begonia and I kill it by the end of the summer. <laughs> or by it's dead. Tears are Helenium. And this is one of my favorite smelling flowers. Um, forgiveness is the hyacinth. I love the smell of hyacinths. Um, I have some, I plant, I buy. <coughs> An Easter lily, a hyacinth, and a tulip every year. And I plant them outside after they're done blooming. Um, and I have tons, I have lots of little hyacinths out there. And I always go out and smell them. I love the smell of hyacinths. And then this year, I bought this little plant for Easter. And it's doing... Wonderful, and I had to bring it in here because the cats keep pulling at it, and it's wrecking some of the leaves, and they pull it right out by the roots, so the whole thing's on the floor. 
So I had to bring it in here. So that's another of the spring flowers. But guys, this is the uh, Smoke and Roses, a floral, floral oracle deck. And I, I think it's the cutest little thing. And I'm so happy that I got it. So we're going to put that back in the little bag. So I hope you guys like this. And this is a, um, a deck that I, I've never seen. And I just thought it was adorable and so happy that I got it. But at first I looked at it and I'm like, what the heck is this? And then I opened it up and this is what I got. So let me pull the little bag shut. Here she is. Adorable. I love it, guys. Hey, thank you. I love you guys. I hope your day is wonderful. Um, if you haven't subscribed, um, I would so appreciate it if you did and give me some support in my channel. Um, hit that like button, uh, the notification button, so that you guys can get notified when I upload a video. And I keep watching my channel, guys, so that I can get those views and and hours in, and I so appreciate everything that you guys do for me. So I love you guys. Have a wonderful, beautiful day.